Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the brand new by Terry uh, Terribly Paris VIP Expert Palette in the shade number one, Paris by Light. So by Terry has come out with um, a couple of new palettes. This is one and there's another one that I have a picture of, but I don't actually have. It is this one. It has like the blue shade in there. And I don't know the name of that one. Let me see. So this is the Paris by Light. And this one pictured here is Paris by Night. And then in this um, Terribly Paris collection, there is also basically re-promotes of the Lash Dual Expert Mascara and the Hyaluronic um, Hydro Powder. And they both just have like special packaging here. So actually, let me show you the packaging because it's really cool. It's got this like gold embossed plate on top of this um, palette. It's really, really uh, cute without being like little girly cute. I just think it's very sweet, you know, with the hearts. And it has this cute uh, graphic of Parisian landmarks here. And all of that is mimicked on the inside too. So here's a close look of this palette on the inside. We have uh, 10 different shades here, and there's a mix of matte and metallic eyeshadows. And look at how sweet all of those um, embossings are and prints are on each of the pans. And when I hauled this for you guys in my sick day vlog and I show this to you, my first thought when I opened this up was that it looked like a box of chocolates. By Terry was kind enough in sending me this palette and they also sent me um, the Lash Expert Twist Brush Mascara. Uh, which I have not opened and won't open until I get through a few more of my mascaras that are already open, but I did want to show you the fun, like, Parisian graphic on here. Isn't that cute? So this palette retails for $56. I will link it down below if you're interested in some more details, but um, I'll be doing a demo of this eye look using this eye palette at the end of this video. So before we jump into my thoughts, let me just go ahead and show you some swatches um, from this palette. So I basically go across the top uh, for left to right and then the bottom row from left to right. It may look like one shadow is missing there. It's just the matte, like bone colored shadow that is literally the same shade as my skin. So that's what you see like third in. So all of these shadows swatched beautifully. They all look very, very pigmented. They all feel very, very smooth on the finger. I have not always had the best luck with By Terry eyeshadow palettes. I have tried the ones that look like raviolis. I'll flash pictures of them up, <laughs> but I have tried the ones that look like raviolis. I have tried most recently their Parisian palette. It had like longer, more slender pans. And I've also tried, I think it was called like their eye light palettes. It was this um, design where they were in squares and then there was like a square within a square and the outside square was matte, the inside square was shimmery. And all of those palettes, I felt like I could get a decent look from them, but it took a little bit of work and I felt like there were a lot of shadows in there that were a little lackluster. So what I do want to mention is I have had much better luck with this particular palette. I feel like the pigmentation is a lot stronger. It's a lot bolder than a lot of the previous palettes that I've tried. And I've always liked the By Terry metallic shades more than the mattes. Their metallic shades have always been very robust. I do feel like the metallic shades in this palette though um, have like a creamier substance. They're very, very they're almost like a cream to powder um, formula. And I did read, I think maybe it was on the back of the box. This is the box, by the way, that it comes in. I did read on the back of the box here something about how you can use them wet and dry. So in my demo, I only use these eyeshadows dry. I figured I would kind of start there. So in this palette, I will say, I think the strongest shades, again, are the metallic shades. I have this pretty much all over the lid and I started to use this um, to kind of blend out my crease area. And they definitely, I just think that they work really nicely. They blend really nicely. They have a nice creamy texture. They have decent longevity. I've never had issues with longevity when it comes to the By Terry shadows. The mattes in here, I have definitely had better luck with this palette than I have had in the past. In the past, they've just been very powdery and a little patchy. And while I had a little bit of patchiness with this matte taupe, 
taupe that I use to um, kind of use as my transition shade. You guys will see that in the demo. Um, it did eventually blend out. It did take a little bit of work, but this shade worked beautifully. I kind of added that to my um, like socket line area, transition area, and I thought it helped kind of like with the blending. And again, you'll see all of this in the demo, but I do like the metallic shades in here more than the mattes but these mattes are definitely an improvement over older by Terry shadows that I've experienced. So I do see an improvement, which is really, really great. I'm so excited because I love by Terry products. I've been having such good luck with their hydro powder. I've had such good luck with this mascara. I've had great luck with their like sun designer palettes and that um, dual expert powder where they have like the highlight in the middle. Like I love so many of their products. It's just their eyeshadows that I feel like I've had some issues with. And this one is definitely an improvement over the older eyeshadows. So one last thing I wanna mention before we jump into the demo is I use this pink shade all over my lid because these um, metallic shades are so creamy. If you go in with your brush too hard, and I used my sable haired um, W23 brush from Isom, and if I went in too hard, like if I kind of just went back and forth too hard, you'll get like clumps of it because it's so creamy. You'll get clumps of it in your brush. You'll want to pat and smear the metallic shades down, especially if you've picked up too much because that's how creamy they are. So why don't we go ahead and jump into the demo and you guys will be able to see all of these things in action. All right, I'm gonna start by going into this matte taupey shade down here on the bottom row. I'm gonna use my Sonia G Blender Pro brush. And I'll just throw this onto the outer corner of my eye and into my socket line area. Next, I'm gonna take my Isom W23 brush and go into this beautiful shimmery pink shade all the way on the right, on the bottom right-hand corner. And I'm going to press and smear this shade on. Ooh, that color is pretty. It's like in some lights, it's like a salmon-y pink. And then in others, it's just like a really frosty white color almost with like a bluish shift. It's so cool. It looks like it's like kind of getting hard pan, but it's not. As soon as you put your finger in there or a brush in there, it like picks up the product immediately. It's, I think it's just the fact that it has that frosty finish that looks like it's hard pan, but it really isn't. I don't have a hard time picking up the shadow at all. I'm gonna take my Worker One brush and go into this matte shade up here. It's right above the taupe that I used. It's a warm color, but I feel like there's a there's also a coolness to it. Like the tone of it is not quite as bright. And I'm just kind of wiping off any excess and I just wanna drag that kind of between my transition shade and this frosty shade. I think that'll make for a nice kind of go between the two colors but I don't want it too harsh. And I'm taking my original Blender Pro brush and I'm just kind of running that over the original taupey shade. I'm gonna take my original Blender Pro brush. I'm gonna dip into this matte white shade up here. Well, it's like an off-white uh, cream color. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that shade, maybe knock off any excess and use that to kind of help blend out this taupey shade and also highlight underneath my brow. And I'm kind of just running that all over the matte shades here. I'm just trying to soften up that original taupe shade. I feel like it went on, I don't know, a little bit darker than I wanted. Next, I'm gonna take my Isom W36 brush. I'm gonna go into this shimmery shade here and I'm gonna use this to deepen up the outer corner and also add just a little bit of warmth to this taupey shade. Uh, a pan just fell out. Uh, looks like it just needs a little bit more glue, but that pink shade fell out. I'm just gonna leave it on my table. I don't want it to keep falling out. Um, I'm mixing this taupe with this copper shade together. I'm just kind of dipping in one and brushing it onto the back of my hand and dipping it into the other and brushing it onto the back of my hand and just kind of mixing the two back there and working it into my brush. And I'm slowly kind of like dragging that over where I had the taupe. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take my Scott Barnes 59 brush and go into 
this dark matte shade and use it as liner. Really nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, here is my finished look. I'll have all the details of what's on my face down below in the description box. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about this palette down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.